Chers compatriotes, cari concittadini, liebe Schweizerinnen und Schweizer, dear friends of Switzerland, I remember the National Day celebrations of my childhood. I always looked forward to the occasion, the fireworks, the sausages, the lanterns, the balloons, the music, the dance. And I vividly remember the one time the speech of the village mayor was drowned out completely by the church bells. But what I remember most and what I was looking forward to the most was to meet all my friends again. On the 1st of August, the summer holidays would slowly come to an end and most friends from school would have returned from their trips abroad or their holidays in the Swiss mountains. There were stories and tales to share. But most of all, it was the sheer joy of being together again. It is maybe no surprise that this memory is particularly vivid this year, because this year being together again has not been possible. We have learned and we continue to learn what physical distancing means. We have come to understand the vastness of the ocean that lies between us here in Canada and our loved ones, families and friends in Switzerland. But while we are apart, we stick together. As individuals, we are united in doing everything to protect vulnerable people. As societies, we are united in gratefulness to those on the front line who worked and who continue to work so that we are safe. And as nations, Switzerland and Canada are united in the conviction that difficult times can only be overcome by working together. Now, working together works best when founded on trust. And for 75 years, since the establishment of diplomatic relations, Switzerland and Canada have developed their relationship of trust. So today, this 1st of August, yes, we celebrate the 729th birthday of Switzerland, but we also celebrate the 75th anniversary of friendship and cooperation between Switzerland and Canada. You see, for many years, Swiss and Canadians have been partnering to find new knowledge and innovative solutions and develop new skills that benefit all. For instance, Sandra Phillips, founder and CEO of MoveMe in Vancouver, who develops solutions for urban mobility and who won the idea contest Next Visionaries. Or Jacqueline Steudel, Swiss-born contemporary artist in Halifax, her passion for the arts led her to become a trained art therapist, which enabled her to help others to navigate through difficult situations. Or Dr. Peter Uni, director of the Applied Health Research Center at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. His studies into the spread of the coronavirus have been widely and internationally recognized. They are just some of the 40,000 Swiss who call Canada their home. So yes, there is an anniversary, but it might not be the right moment to pop champagne. But I do get sparkles in my eyes when I think of the potential that Swiss-Canadian cooperation holds. From all of us here at the Swiss Embassy in Ottawa and the Consulates General in Montreal and Vancouver, we wish you a fröhlichen and gefreuten 1. August. Stay safe and stay healthy. <laughs>